Hey, what is going on guys? It's Young here and today I'm back in our Fortnite video. In today's video, I'm going to be comparing the advantages and also the disadvantages of linear settings versus exponential settings because those are the two settings I feel like most people are using. Epic said they were going to take out Legacy, but they actually didn't. So a lot of you guys may or may not still be on those settings, but I know for a lot of people they are on either linear or they're on exponential settings. So I want to be comparing the advantages and also the disadvantages that you may or may not know about. And real quick, before we get into the video, up on the screen, I have the V-Buck giveaway winner of this week. I'm going to be giving away V-Bucks every single week. So if you guys want a chance to enter this giveaway and win some free V-Bucks, all you guys have to do to enter is to, is to drop a like on this video. Make sure you guys do subscribe to the channel. Also, make sure you guys do turn on those post notifications so you guys get notified for every single new video. And lastly, comment down below either your Xbox gamer tag, your PSN gamer tag, or Epic account. And you guys will be automatically entered into the next giveaway. And also, if you guys like to support me in the Atom Shop, all you guys have to do is go down to the bottom, click on support a creator, type in my code. My creator code is Young Humor, and you guys will have me added and supported as a creator. And all right, guys, let's get right to the video. Alright, so in this video, I want to give you guys the advantages and also the disadvantages that you may or may not know between the linear settings and also the exponential settings, because I feel like those two settings are the most popular. Well, I think that there might be a still a lot of people still on the legacy settings, because Epic did say they were going to remove those settings, but they end up changing their minds and not removing them at all. I think they said they were going to remove them back in... I think it was March 13th, but now it's the 21st and they still haven't done anything. So those settings will probably still be in the game. I don't think they're going to touch them. So a lot of you guys may still be playing on those settings. But if you guys are looking to choose between either exponential settings or linear settings, then this is going to be the video for you because I'm going to be comparing the two. Now, as far as exponential settings, and of course, I just had the settings that I currently have on for those. When it comes to exponential it is very, very good for a lot of things, but also it kind of lacks and isn't as good as other things. So I feel like with anything in this game, when it comes to, I guess when it comes to the different settings, there's certain advantages and kind of okay things with each settings. So for, for example, on the legacy settings, the aim is pretty good when it comes to long range, but also at the same time with all the boost, it can be very, very inconsistent. So when it comes to flick shots, it kind of lacks that and vice versa. When it comes to linear settings, the flick shots are very, very good. And the long range just isn't as good on those linear settings. But so when it comes to choosing between linear and exponential, one thing I really did notice as a big advantage towards exponential settings over linear is I did feel like the aim assist was a little bit stronger. I wouldn't say significantly, but it definitely felt a little bit stronger. And this could just be due to the fact when you have the exponential settings, you have the small analog stick movements that you can make, which is going to make your aim more precise. But just because, or just the way it is, it definitely feels a little bit stronger. The aim assist is the exact same strength between linear and exponential, but based on the way exponential feels, it definitely feels like a stronger aim assist as compared to linear settings. So if you're looking for stronger aim assist, I really do think that exponential settings will offer that over linear settings. The aim assist feels much stronger at any range just because I, I guess the way the movement or the way the analog sticks feel when you are aiming with exponential settings just feel stronger. So if you're looking for the best aim assist between the two, if your main focus is on improving your aim, I think exponential is 100% the way to go because it just feels a lot stronger than linear settings. But and also an advantage that you have with linear settings is going to be building just because exponential settings feel a little bit more sluggish so for example if you're in a box and maybe you have like a pyramid or maybe you have a wall in there and you need to get out and need to edit out like in that sort of movement right there it's going to be much easier to do on linear settings just because on linear settings it's going to be a little bit quicker and your movement's going to feel a lot more smooth so if you're ever caught in a tough situation and you need to make a quick edit to get out of your box and you're right up against the wall doing so on linear settings is going to be much easier to do and also another advantage you guys may or may not know about is going to be the movement so here i am on linear settings i'm kind of just running i'm doing kind of zigzags running figure eights on the ramps and let me switch over to exponential settings and do the exact same movement you guys can see what i'm talking about so here on this exact same movement when i'm on exponential settings as you can see it's a little bit more difficult to see on here but when i was playing you can definitely feel it when i'm making the exact same movements you can see how my player almost stops when I turn around fully and that's because of the way the analog stick uh, the movement how everything registers it is going to be a little bit more cut than it is going to be on linear linears way more smooth meaning that if you're trying to make 
I guess, sharper turns, it's going to be a lot worse on exponential settings, which means it's going to slow you down. And when it comes to running in this game, there's like a two second delay between you're standing still and you're in a full run. So if you want to be a lot faster than another player, if you want to try to build faster, if you're trying to edit faster, you want to be able to have a consistent, you always want to be sprinting and that's going to be the key to winning a lot of build fights. It's always going to be running and if you are on linear settings, you're going to have a much easier time doing that than on exponential settings because on exponential settings, if you make sharper turns, it's going to slow your character down and stop you. So this could be very problematic if you're talking about build fights or if you're talking about just making quicker shots and just being faster than the other player just because if you sh turn a little bit too tight if you're trying to move just a little bit too much then it's going to make you stop and then you're gonna have to wait like that half a second to a second delay before you're back into a full sprint which could be the make or break between having high ground not having high ground or even just winning the gunfight so being on linear settings is a lot more smooth when it comes to the movement that you have you're able to have a much wider turn radius than on exponential settings and also what I mentioned earlier, when it comes to the aim assist, it's the exact same strength, but it definitely feels a lot more sticky and a little bit more aim assist when it comes to exponential settings based on the way the movement is. And when it comes to linear settings, you are going to have a severe disadvantage at range. You still are able to hit long range shots more. There's a lot of factors that can come into it based on your dead zones. If you have an elevated right analog stick, based on the sensitivity that you have for aiming down your sights, or maybe even your X and Y sensitivity. So there can be a lot of factors that determine how accurate you're going to be from, on, on with linear on long ranges. But for the most part, it is going to be a disadvantage as opposed to exponential settings, but you can do a few things to improve your accuracy with long range on linear. Like for instance, you can adjust your look dampening time. You can increase this, which gives you like an extra dead zone to make it a little bit easier when it comes to aiming from range, but you can decide. I mean, some people like it. Some people don't. I kind of, I'm kind of 50, 50. I usually switch in between the two, depending on if I'm playing a little bit more competitive then I want to have it on. But if I'm playing a lot more casual, just playing a lot of pubs, build fights, things like that, then I probably would want to have it off so that is just a major difference between linear and exponential settings and i was talking a lot about building earlier but when it comes to building one thing you have to keep in mind if you are on exponential settings is because when you are on linear settings, when you are building, it's going to be a lot smoother because you're able to just move your analog stick just a little bit, and that's going to be enough to build everywhere that you want to. But on exponential settings, you're gonna to have to be a little bit more rough with your analog sticks. You're gonna to have to move it all the way over just to get a build place. Of course, you can raise your sensitivity a little bit, and this will help out quite a bit. But at the same time, it's still gonna be a lot more rough than playing on linear settings. But that's really just something to keep in mind. I've seen a ton of very good exponential and also really, really good legacy players when it comes to building. But at the same time, you have to understand based on the way the movement is, it's going to uh, it's going to make you build a little bit slower. Now, is that a make or break? That's really just up to you. But it will make you build just a little bit slower based on the way the movement is. On linear, it's going to be 10 times easier, smoother, and you don't have to move your analog stick as much to build the way that you want to so building is going to be a lot smoother so if you're really focused on creative building and just being as smooth as possible then linear settings are 100 percent the way to go because when it comes to exponential there's one thing i did notice is there's certain movements that are very very easy and there's certain movements that are a little bit more difficult than what i'm used to on linear settings there's certain movements like when i was doing those 90s that felt pretty normal they felt all right but when it came when it when it came to doing some sort of other movements if I had to make a quick turn, that is when I really noticed the drag and also noticed the delay when it comes to exponential settings. And same thing can be said with legacy settings, but when it comes to linear, you are going to notice a very, very consistent output when you are building and when you are aiming, but with exponential settings, it's a lot more difficult to turn really quickly and also be very accurate as well. So if you're making small, uh, small movements when it comes to building, editing and also aiming you're going to see a huge advantage on that but when it comes to turning i would say more than like 45 degrees when it comes to turning you're going to feel a little bit awkward on exponential settings versus linear because linear is 100 percent consistent uh, every single direction but when it comes to exponential you're going to have a little bit harder time hitting more flick shots and just being a lot smoother and a lot more accurate with your builds so something to keep in mind but those are basically the main differences between exponential and linear settings and so I hope this video helped you guys out. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you guys do drop a like. Make sure you guys do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Turn on my post notifications so you guys can get notified for each and every single new video. And all right, guys, I'll see you next video.